of videos that we have of comments by Candace Falk and by Susan Blake, but we really want to hear your comments. And probably, I think we'll just dispense with them at this point. Um, they'll, they'll be on uh, YouTube, and the whole lecture will be on YouTube. Um, but it, it's wonderful having you here, all of you. And um, how does it feel to, <laughs> to see yourself dancing like that? Huh? My goodness. <laughs> Uh, uh, Elaine, do you have some things you want to share with us about your research on, on Emma Goldman and, and your reaction to hearing your work for the first time? Um, well, and this one. I'm a terrific singer, so it's, wow. uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pleasure to hear. To hear um, Thank you. She's terrific. And, um, it's, a, it's wonderful to know that other people take Emma Goldman very seriously, and I take her very seriously. Um, I just thank you for thank you for doing it and and putting it in this context because you know I'm out on the prairie I'm kind of alone and um, <laughs> with with people who, we, who even know who I'm a is. How did you happen upon Howard Zinn's play and, and your correspondence with him? Um, it was actually totally by accident. A friend of mine, um, a pianist, told me about the um, the Howard Zinn's book on the on American history. So I went to the library and I got the book off the shelf, and right next to it was a book was Emma Gold Emma, and I thought, ooh, this guy likes Emma Goldman, and so I took the two books out, out of the library, and the, the history one was long, and I was walking home and I opened up the um, the play, yeah. and I started reading it, and I thought, you know, this is an opera, <laughs> and then I just he starts out with a with a with um with music, and immediately it started. It just I just looked and I thought, well, I guess I just need to do this as an opera. And I was read this, was the this play. Your, was this your first opera? I, no, it's my second. Um, I read through the play, and I immediately found Howard's email address, and I wrote to him, not thinking he would give me permission to do it or anything. Writes back immediately, says, "Absolutely, this is a great idea. Uh, I'm glad to work with you." And we just we worked on it together. Until now, you're the first people who have heard any of it except Howard and his wife, because I used to send tapes of. Singing, oh. <laughs> which was awful. <laughs> but um, so so yeah. So that um, that's how it happened. So and he was he was encouraging to you then. Oh yeah, we worked on it. It was um, it took a, it was he was there all the time. But you, but by mail, you never. I, we, all by email, and I kept oh. wanting to see him because um, he lives in the town where I grew up, and he would always be gone the one week or two weeks that you know the week that we come to Boston. So. Um, mm. So I never got to actually meet him in person, which was really sad. But he was very encouraging. He was, yeah. um, and we tried to get it produced in Boston. Um, but people in in opera, and it was, you know, earlier in the decade, in the first decade of the the of this century, when things were going really south with um, with productions, opera companies didn't want to take a chance on a new, yeah. an unknown composer. And since I was an unknown composer and still am, um, I, I, I was not something they wanted to get into. Uh, Bo Boston is particularly difficult to get an opera produced. I mean, Howard, Howard tried to help us get Sac One Benzetti produced, which takes place in Massachusetts. It really should be done there. And uh, the companies just didn't have the facilities for it. They were interested, but you know, I mean, Boston is a, is a very tough place to, to get anything done. We, we, we did several performances at colleges which paid us very, very little. We, we, we just did it, you know, and we had, you know, maybe 10 people in the audience in Brandeis, you know, as, we, as I told you. Um, but we just, you know, pursued, and, 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 and that's really the only way to do it, is to, is to really, you know, follow through. And, and well, Howard tried, and yeah. I, he really wanted to hear it, you know. Well, sure. 